Hello, back again with another demonstration of the power of EOS and this time focusing on VM Tracer, one of the other key features of um, the EOS operating system. So what is a VM Tracer? Basically it links Arista switches to vCenter and creates an adaptive infrastructure uh, where the network really uh, responds to changes in the virtual machine network. And it basically served the, the, the um, requirements of the um, virtualization and server administration teams by automatically creation, creating of VLANs on the physical network that are supporting of the, supported of the uh, virtual machine network. It also um, supports the um, network operated and engineering teams because it gives complete visibility of the virtual machine network on the physical network infrastructure. I'm going to demonstrate that in, um, in here and um, I'm going to do that using my famous uh, MacBook um, and I have a VMware Fusion running and in VMware Fusion I have multiple virtual machines and these virtual machines are the virtual EUS uh, switches. Um, I have the following running. I have a kind of production network with uh, two spine switches in an MLAC configuration, two leaf switches connected to it. To the leaf switches are servers connected. There is an ESX server connected with VMs running on it. So interestingly, you have VMs connecting to a VM in a VMware Fusion virtual environment on my MacBook. Well, anyway, the um, the other server that's running is the vCenter server and running on a Windows 2008 virtual machine running connected to another switch. So any traffic between the ESX server and the um, vCenter is going over this network. Um, there's also a management switch uh, just for management purposes and uh, it also uh, connects the, uh, the MacBook itself towards this, uh, this, this production network so I can use a console to connect to any switch here. A little bit more details on the uh, the, tra the the demo itself. Um, the uh, the ESX server is connected to the VUS4 switch, as I shown before, and um, basically the switch uses a SOAP uh, XML API from VMware to discover VM VMware's host information. Uh, it, it discovers the VMs itself. It discovers information about the host host host, and it also um, configures the VLANs. So, what I want to demonstrate. First, I go to a VUS4 and I'll show you what I have configured there. I have configured, let's first go to the VM Tracer information. I have configured a session towards my, my laptop. It's called laptop, could be any name. And basically, it connect, this connects um, the switch towards vCenter. Now a switch can be connected to four fee centers at the same time, really for redundancy or multi-tenancy. Um, you connect to the IP address, um, give a username and password, and then there are some two uh, two uh, commands. One is uh, the number of the, the VLANs you allow, um, what can be used on this uh, uh, towards the, what this fee fee center can use, and the other one is um, the default setting is if you allow vCenter to automatically create VLANs or not and this by default that's turned on. The other thing what is configured is the uh, VM Tracer VMware ESX command on the interface. Um, this basically needed on the interfaces where ESX hosts are connected and this gives the link between the host vCenter and the Arista switch and provides information uh, from the switch towards the, uh, the ESX host. The ESX host gives that information back to, um, to the vCenter and um, through the SDK the switch get back information with VMs and can link uh, interfaces to VMs to uh, which ESX are running and I basically can show that uh, using uh, the uh, commands right now. So if I do show VM Tracer session it gives me the connection to vCenter you here see this out of vlan command I was mentioning the default command it's enabled 
Um, before I'm going to show any other thing, I'm going to go to vCenter itself and I give you information. First of all, I go to the, um, the host. Uh, this is the ESX host. Um, this is the host connected to VUS4. And this can actually be seen. This is the uh, v VMware uh, ESX command and, and give this information back to, to the ESX host, which gives that to vCenter. This is they give which hardware platform and basically the release, the Ethernet interface is connected to, the MAC address, uh, management address, and as well as the system name. So this information is, uh, is provided to us at vCenter. Um, now vCenter has more information, of course, because it also has information about its VMs. Now the VMs are connected to, um, are, are configured and are, uh, are, are down or up and running. These are up, these should be down. Um, these VMs are connected to network interfaces and are basically connected to these network interfaces. So we have a number of them connected. Um, I have uh, a VLAN 20, a VLAN 30, a VLAN 10, a VLAN 40 connected to, to the NIC 1. And I have a number of, of these network interfaces connected to NIC 0. And let's see, let's take an example of, uh, of the Linux server and we can show. If I go to edit settings, that normally can take a while, and this is purely to do with my MacBook, where I get the information um, through the, uh, the the switch network, and that is uh, basically software switch on my Mac. Um, but you will see information about the uh, which network interface the uh, VM is VM is connected to. In the meantime, yeah, oh, I don't have to do that. Um, show you it's connected to VLAN 1. So this Linux server is connected to VLAN 1 shown on vCenter. Well, very nice, but is then then is the information then available on the um, switch? To do show VM tracer interface okay, all interfaces and you see actually here that on Ethernet 3 is connected to VNIC 0, and I showed that before, and Ethernet 4 is connected to VNIC 1. Ethernet 4 is connected to VNIC 1, all given by um, the uh, uh, VM tracer command. You also see that the VMs running, the same VMs as you see on vCenter, and you see um, the status of these VMs, you see the VLANs it's connected to, and the network adapter as well. Now, these VLANs is interesting because let's see if these VLANs are then automatically created as we as, uh, mentioned before. That is a uh, key feature of the uh, uh, VM tracer uh, functionality. Show the VLANs. Now, this is interesting. Ooh, of course, should be the VLAN. Sorry. Um, you see here that there are one default VLAN and it's automatically created, and there are two uh, dynamically created VLANs. Now, to, and you also can see on which interface they are created to Ethernet 3 and Ethernet 4, and also to the port channel um, upstream, um, because that is a trunk. Now, if I now change, for instance, a Linux server to another uh, uh, VLAN, let's take VLAN 30. VLAN 30 is this uh, virtual machine network group. And I'm going to do edit settings. Uh, I go to my network adapter. I change that to VLAN 30. It's in progress. It's almost done. Should be completed in a second. Completed. So, what's happening now here? I go again to the tracer interface, and you suddenly see that the Linux server is moved from VLAN 1 to VLAN 30. So, what happened then to our dynamically created VLANs? And you suddenly see that VLAN 30 is created. As you can see, um, I've demonstrated a VM tracer. Um, it really gives uh, the um, visibility towards the network engineering teams about all the VMs in the network and to, through the creation of, uh, of VLANs it auto automatically creates uh, VLANs which are
created by the virtualization and server teams. We truly linking the virtual machine network and the physical network together. Thank you and uh, stay tuned for another demo of the power of US. Mm -hmm.